I want to talk about is using the stock system for naming ionic compounds. There are some metals which actually have more than one possible oxidation state. And we have to have a way in the name to let us know which version of that metal ion are we considering. Now here are the ones that you guys need to know. Copper can either form a plus one or a plus two ion. Iron, right over here, can form plus two or plus three. Uh, some other examples of this. Both tin and lead can form plus two or plus four ions. Uh, so I want you all to memorize these examples of metals which have more than one possible oxidation state. Now, let's look at some examples at the board. So here, I have two different examples of compounds which are chlorides of tin. SN is the symbol for tin. So I have to have a way of differentiating in their names which is which. So I have SNCl2, I have SNCl4. Now, I'm going to use a Roman numeral uh, in my nomenclature to let me know the charge of the tin ion. That's going to look like this. All right, I have tin 2 chloride. The second example is tin 4. Now, here's a common problem with this. The Roman numeral does not tell us the number of tins. It's telling us the charge of the tin ion. So when I say tin 2 chloride, here's what that means. It means it's a tin ion with a plus 2 charge. And this is why it needs to be paired with two chlorides, each with a minus 1 charge. That's where we're getting that name, tin 2 chloride. Tin 4 chloride is a different version. This is when tin forms a plus four charge. Now it needs to be paired with four chloride ions to produce an electrically neutral compound. So that's again where the name tin four chloride is coming from. Again, the four tells me the charge of the metal ion, which is preceding the Roman numeral. Now let's look at a couple examples of going the opposite direction. What if we're given the name and we want to <coughs> determine the formula for the compound? So lead has the symbol PB. Lead 2 means that I have a lead ion with a positive 2 charge. Lead 4 means that I have a lead ion with a plus 4 charge. Phosphate. Now again, I see that 8 ending. This lets me know that I have a polyatomic ion combined with lead. So I look it up on my reference table. I find that phosphate is PO4 with a minus 3 charge. So here I'm going to be able to determine the ratio that I'll need in order to produce an electrically neutral compound. I'm going to need three of the lead two ions and I will pair that with two of the minus three phosphate ions. Now let's consider the example of lead four phosphate. Again phosphate is PO4 three minus, so again to do my ratios, I need PB, I'll need three of those, and the phosphates, we'll need four of those because the common multiple of three and four is 12.